love the Loud House so much that we watched the show over and over again just so we could see if we missed any small details. But wait until you hear about the mystery that's only known to the biggest Loud House fans. Give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button to never miss another Loud House video again. Now let's check out 10 small details in The Loud House only true fans have noticed. Peanuts reference. If you watch some of our other videos on The Loud House, you probably already know this, but there's a specific small detail in one of the scenes only real fans of the show managed to catch. And you might not even notice what is going on unless you're a huge fan of Peanuts. In Homespun, the 26th episode of season 1, we see Lloyd Loud Sr. fixing the roof antenna. After he almost falls down the roof, the scene cuts to the girls watching the TV and cheering that it's a lot better now. But have you noticed what's actually playing on TV? It's a cartoon version of two characters that seem to be leaning on a brick wall. But that same scene is actually the opening scene to A Charlie Brown Christmas. Of course, small details have been changed, and overall, the illustration of the cartoon has to fit the Loud House style instead of the old school illustration. But if you look at the details, you'll notice it's definitely a shout out to Peanut. Make sure you watch some of our other videos to find other references to Peanuts on the show. It turns out that Chris Savino was a huge fan of hiding Easter eggs and other pop culture references references into the Loud House episodes. Their Parents Eleven Louds a Leapin is a special episode for anyone who's a real fan of the show. We're talking about fans who noticed this tiny detail that was pretty much overlooked by most. You probably noticed that cartoon parents often hide their faces. They're only shown from the waist down to make sure the atmosphere still fits into the kids' world rather than adding adults into the mix and destroying the magic. It seems like this was the plan for the Loud House, but for some unknown reason, this plan changed with the final episode of Season 1. It's actually the first episode that shows the parents' faces, and most people didn't even notice. It happens as the Loud family, along with Clyde's family and some of the other neighbors, sing a Christmas carol, which was written by Luna. What's even more strange is that after this episode, we constantly see the parents' faces, and they actually play an important part in most of the episodes. It's a small detail, but anyone who's a true fan will probably know that the first season was mostly focused on the kids. The parents didn't become a part of the story until their face revealed in the second season. Do you think this show would be different if the parents never showed their faces? Let us know in the comments. Lisa's Education Here's another small detail no one really cares about unless you're 100% invested in this show. And if you are, we can't blame you because we're sure you can tell by our videos that we are too. One of our favorite characters on the show is Lisa. She's incredibly smart, even though she still speaks with an adorable lisp. But it seems like her super intelligence is causing several inconsistencies in the storyline. For example, we all know Lisa graduated from college as a teacher in Cover Girls, the 15th episode episode of season 1. But in one of the season 2 episodes called Making the Grade, Lisa is still in kindergarten. Of course she finds it too easy and gets transferred to Lincoln's class, but there's no explanation why that happened in the first place, considering she should already be attending university by season 2. Have you noticed this detail about Lisa before? We want to hear from all true fans of the show. What's your explanation behind it? We have a feeling this is just a simple continuity error by the creative team, but who can blame them? When you're designing a story, for 11 unique characters with strong and over-exaggerated personalities, you might find yourself struggling to remember every single thing about them. Speaking of the team behind the Loud House, do you know what they actually look like? You'll be surprised to learn that you do know, even if you think you don't know it. The Loud House Staff Here's another Easter egg we bet you never noticed in The Loud House. Most animators leave their mark on a cartoon they work on, especially if it's a popular cartoon. We bet you never paid attention to the random people you see in The Loud House. You know, the ones that are a part of the background and can usually be found cheering at a game or in a crowd no one pays attention to. But a huge fan managed to spot everyone who works for The Loud House in a single scene of the cartoon. You can find the same scene in For Bros About to Rock, when Luna stands in line to go to the concert. Pay close attention to the actual line. These are the people that work behind the scenes on the show. And the bearded guy with the purple sweater is actually Chris Savino. You can also see editors and other animators. Even the writer, Carla Saka Shropshire, can be spotted on the far right. Pretty impressive, right? To be fair, if we worked on a show like The Loud House, we'd also make sure there's a character that represents us somewhere in there. Creators always like to put Easter eggs like these in their work, but we bet most fans never even knew about this one. Lisa's Clothes 
Now this small detail is very easy to miss, and to be honest, we didn't pay a lot of attention to it the first time around. Let's take it back to the very first episode in the series that started the Loud House craze. In Left in the Dark, we get introduced to the family and learn all about the Loud siblings, including their personalities. We always mentioned that Lisa's our favorite. We adore her cute list, but we love her clothing even more. Her sweater looks so comfortable. But did you know that it didn't always look that color? Go back to the first episode and compare the color of her sweaters. You'll notice that her sweater has a different color. It's a much brighter green that's never seen again after. Instead, the color turns into a much less vivid green that fits in with the background and the rest of the colors around her. We're not sure if this was a strategic move to make sure the color is easily visible without gathering too much attention, or if it's just a simple mistake by the animators. But once you see it, you can never unsee it again. Which color do you prefer? We have to be honest, we love the vivid green rather than the lime green color. It's just so cute. Dirty face. It's hard to choose a favorite in the Loud House, but apart from Lisa, we also really love Lana. It's hard to believe she has a twin sister who's a complete opposite of her rowdy tomboy character, and to be completely honest, we like Lana just a little bit more. She always gets herself in some kind of mess, and it's very entertaining to watch. In Along Came a Sister, Lincoln brings home a tarantula and makes sure he hides it from Lenny, who's afraid of spiders. After hiding the tarantula, he realized he'd lost it and panics. The twins confront him on what's going on and gets suspicious, especially when Lincoln tries to get out of it by saying Lana is cute. They both know there's no way he'd ever say that. If you pay attention to the scene, you'll notice that Lana's face is really dirty. She has dirt everywhere, but in the very next scene from another angle, she's suddenly clean again. Unless you pay close attention to the show and know every small detail, this scene is very easy to miss. Make sure to watch our videos if you want to know more about animation mistakes in the show. It turns out there are quite a few few of them, like our next mistake, which shows Clyde in a completely different light. Clyde's chipped tooth. The Loud House also introduces us to some of the characters with some of the most progressive cartoon families ever, and Clyde is definitely one of those characters. Although the show has been banned in some countries because of Clyde's dads, we think the entire family is pretty adorable. But what's even more adorable is Clyde and Lincoln's friendship. The two BFFs spend a lot of time together, and we love seeing Clyde completely melt over Lori. He cannot be himself when he's around her. But what's even more adorable about Clyde are his buck teeth which are shown in almost every episode. Well, except in Get the Message, where they mistakenly get a different shape. When Lincoln realizes his gaming glasses were stamped on, he automatically blames Lori, as she was the last person to enter the bathroom, which is where he left them. After telling Clyde, his best friend gets totally overwhelmed that the love of his life stepped a foot on those glasses. But if you pay attention to his teeth during the scenes in Lincoln's room, you'll notice this is the only time you'll ever see Clyde with a chipped tooth. We have no idea whether this was a mistake, or if he just somehow managed to chip his tooth just for that scene. The most important thing is that he still is adorable as ever. The show definitely wouldn't be the same without him. Lori's Tongue but it's not just a tooth that went missing in the Loud House. We also spotted this incredibly small detail that requires you to pause your Loud House episode at the precise time, otherwise you'll completely miss it. And it happens in the same episode. In the first scene, we see Lincoln passionately dancing to his weird zombie VR game, and for some reason, he manages to totally leave the living room and go upstairs. He accidentally finds himself in Lori's room, who's, of course, visibly unhappy. Lori doesn't like it when her younger siblings go into her room, and and she says that loud and clear. Well, she actually yells it at Lincoln. But pay attention to her tongue in that scene. You'll notice that at some point, it loses its outline and just looks like a weird salmon-colored dot coming from her mouth. It's one of those small details we'd never expect anyone to see. Once you go deeper into the Loud House episodes and really pay attention to the animation you're seeing, you'll be able to notice more and more details that aren't always there or some that go missing in certain scenes. And who knows, maybe the animators wanted us to notice these things, just so we could talk about the Loud House as much as we do. Sounds pretty clever, right? Lincoln's Strength We've already spoken about how it's probably really hard to continue with the storyline of so many characters and remember exactly what someone said or did in previous episodes. We bet there are a lot more cases like this, so do make sure to tell us in the comments if you ever spot a continuity error. But here's another one. Lincoln doesn't look like he's particularly strong, especially since he doesn't really do sports or anything that would make us see his muscles. So in Link or Swim, there's no wonder that he wasn't able to carry Lynn on his shoulders after she jumps on him. 
But in It's a Loud, 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 Loud House, we see him holding Lin after the two get in a fight. If he isn't able to pick up Lin because his muscles are weak, he definitely wouldn't be able to hold Lin after a fight especially since it seems like these siblings were fighting quite a lot that day. We're really not sure how to feel about Lincoln's strength. He looks strong when he needs to, but he's not strong when we're supposed to laugh at the scene. Although, to be honest, Lin jumping on him would make him pretty weak and unable to hold her, and to be fair, he did a really good job at trying. A Lost Episode if you're a true fan of the show, you probably know everything about it, including things that people who only watch the episodes don't. While this is definitely not a small detail, it's a fact that's known among the Loud House fans and no one seems to know whether this is just fan fiction or reality. But whatever it is, it's definitely still talked about. One Wikia user claims they stumbled on a website which featured a bunch of unedited things that related to TV shows and movies. One of them was The Loud House. They described that they found a lost episode called Enough is Enough, where Lincoln completely loses his mind and finally has enough of living with his 10 sisters. The story is pretty creepy, but it definitely seemed to have convinced a lot of fans. The writer even mentioned they couldn't believe a show like The Loud House would even feature something so gruesome as that lost episode. Of course, we all know that you should always take things like that with a grain of salt, especially since there's no proof whatsoever. We can't imagine Lincoln turning the Loud House into a horror story, but this mystery scene is definitely still popular among true fans of the show. What do you think? Is it real or fake? And that's it for our video. Make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. See you next time!